Hello and welcome to catvirus.com. My name is Diane Addy. Today I would like to speak about feline infectious peritonitis prognosis. There have been a number of new treatments for feline infectious peritonitis in recent years. In this video, I would like to show you the technique for working out the prognosis in a case of FIP to let you know whether or not you've got time for the treatment of choice to arrive. This video is intended purely for veterinary surgeons. It's not for guardians. Please, if you are a cat guardian, take your cat to a qualified veterinary surgeon for a professional opinion. So in 2011, Dr. Tsai et al. published a paper looking at 51 cases with FIP in Taiwan. And from the laboratory results of these 51 cases, the scientists were able to work out a staging or scoring system for the prognosis for FIP. I have adapted this score system into an Excel file, which you can obtain by going to catvirus.com. Go to the Downloads page, and from there you will find the Excel file. When you click on this link, it will take you to the Excel file, which will download in a new window. This is what you will download. You can highlight these cells and click Ctrl C and Ctrl V and copy them into new columns to make the table longer as shown here. I'm going to show you an application of this Excel file using two examples, Roly and Luca, and I'm very grateful to Jenny and Maria for allowing their data to be used. Let's have a look at Roly's data. We go to his hematocrit, which is 27.5, and then we look at the table. We see that it's called PCV here. So 27 is greater than 26, and that means the score is 0, and we put in 0 under the date, which was the 28th of January. Next, we go to his AST level, which was 89 units per litre. And we come back to the table. We're looking at 89 units per litre, which is less than 150. So again, that's a score of zero, and we put that into the table. You carry on like that until all the cells are filled, and then it will automatically give you a total at the bottom. You can see here that Rowley's total on the 28th January 2017 was two. And if you go over to the right, you will see that a score of between 0 and 4 indicates survival time of more than 2 weeks. A score of between 5 and 11 indicates a survival time of less than 2 weeks, and a score of over 12 indicates a survival time of less than 3 days. And indeed this was the case for Rowley. You can see here that Rowley's chart did apply in his life. Here he is with ascites in January 2017. His vets were very quick to diagnose that he had FIP, instigate treatment with verbigen omega immediately in prednisolone. And here you can see resolution of his ascites. Unfortunately, Rowley did go on to develop non-effuse of FIP. And unfortunately, he did die on the 1st of April 2017. And you can see from his chart that his score increased to 10 just shortly before he died. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that the paper refers to effusive FIP, but I would just like to show you the results of Luca, who unfortunately had non-effusive FIP, and show you his scores, which were 6, 6, 8, 6 and 12. So right from the outset his prognosis was, was pretty poor and that in fact proved to be the case. He was lost on the 5th of October 2013. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you this new tool from catvirus.com and I hope that you'll find it useful. I'm really grateful to Jenny Johnson and Maria Bonino for allowing Rollies and Lucas stories to be used to help other cats. I thank Maria Bonino and Charlotte Aston for supplying Lucas and Rowley's laboratory results. 
and I'm very grateful to Maria Bonino for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching it. If you found it useful, please like it and subscribe to this channel. I want to thank all the subscribers to catvirus.com who enable this channel to be advertisement free. For more information about the diagnosis and treatment of FIP, please visit catvirus.com. Thank you. Goodbye.